when you first open up Unreal Engine, it can feel intimidating. Blueprints, C++, inputs, animation, it's a lot. And for beginners, it can be overwhelming. But Epic has actually given us a shortcut. It's called Stacklebot, and it's a small project you can grab for free on the marketplace. Instead of staring at a blank screen, you can learn by tinkering in a sandbox that's already working. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what Stacklebot is, why it's one of the best starting points if you're nervous about coding, and it also highlights the breakdown from two developers behind it so you can dive deeper when you're ready. So what is Stacklebot? It's one gigabyte Unreal Engine 5 project where you can control a little robot. You can walk, run, jump, use a jetpack, press buttons, ride elevators, open doors, and even spawn copies of himself. It's not a full game, it's a learning sandbox. It's a safe playground where you can poke around, pull things apart, and see how they're built. It's a great project for those picking up Unreal Engine for the first time or for game developers looking to try out new features in Unreal Engine. We made use of a lot of new features like Lumen, Nanite, World Partition, Enhanced Input System, Control Rig with Full Body IP, and many more features in a small 1GB big project. The best part? Everything is cleanly set up with comments, so you're never left guessing why something works. If blueprints make you nervous, this is perfect. Most of the heavy lifting is already done for you. The project uses a new enhanced input system. Doors and pressure plates are already wired to work. The robot comes with an animation blueprint, a control rig with full body IK, and even ragdoll physics, all ready to go. So instead of building from zero, you get to explore, polish systems, and learn by tweaking them. What makes this project even cooler is that while you're learning, you're also getting hands-on with Unreal Engine 5's latest tech. Lumen lighting is enabled right out of the box, Nanite handles all the environment geometry, the map uses world partitions so you can see how level streaming works, the robot's jetpack runs on Niagara for effects, and the sound is built in meta sounds, which feels like material editor but for audio. So without touching a single line of code, you're already working with the newest UE5 tools. The developers behind this project, led by Andres Suka, made a fantastic walkthrough video showing tricks under the hood. They explain how the jetpack thrust is driven by a curve. They show how the camera's logic traces above the player to avoid clipping. And they explain why input handling is kept on the character for this project. We also added a camera and a camera boom. I will come to the camera in a second. And then we added a jetpack, a skeletal mesh, and a Niagara effect for the thruster. This will be also part of this video. As well as the meta sound we did for the thruster that's reacting on gameplay. I'll link their video below. It's definitely worth watching after this one. Let me give you a quick idea of how easy it is to experiment. Download Stacklebot, load the map, and hit play. Within seconds, you're moving, jumping, and double jumping into a jetpack glide. Walk up to a button, press it, and watch the animation blend perfectly with IK. If you drag a door and a pressure plate into the level, you can link them together in the details panel. Press play again and you built a working interaction system, all without writing a single node yourself. The project really encourages tinkering. Open the jetpack settings and you'll find a thrust curve. Change it and instantly the gameplay feels different. Check out the camera system. It uses interpolation to smooth the boom arm. Adjust the numbers and watch how the camera responds. Look at the control rig. It traces the robot's feet to the ground. Exaggerate the settings and you'll see how IK behaves. Even the robot's face is driven by a flip book material. Swap the frame and suddenly he has a new mood. It's safe, it's fun, and it's the best way to learn by experimenting. One of my favorite features is the ability to print new robots. Press a button and brand new bot spawns at a pad. You stack them, you can jump on their heads, and when the limit is reached, older robots dissolve in Niagara effect. It looks playful, but under the hood, it teaches you how spawning works, how to manage lists of actors, and how to clean them up properly. Even on the performance side, there are hidden lessons. Almost every mesh is nanite, except trees that need wind animation. At a distance, those trees swap to static meshes to keep shadows efficient. The level is organized with one fill per actor and packed with level blueprints, which makes collaboration much easier. Materials are optimized to reduce draw calls. Virtual textures blend rocks into the landscape seamlessly. These are professional practices, and you'll pick them up just by exploring the project. 
The bottom line is this, Stacklebot removes the fear of blank project. Instead of opening Unreal and freezing up, you can press play and immediately see a working character and environment. From there, you'll peel back the layers at your own pace. Maybe you study the camera, maybe you tweak the jetpack, maybe you build your own button. You learn by exploring, not by memorizing abstract tutorials. So if Unreal Engine has ever scared you off, Taco Byte might be the gateway you need. Download it free from the Fab Store, check out the developers breakdown linked below, and then dive in and start tinkering. I'd love to know in the comments what part of Unreal feels the most intimidating to you, blueprints, animation, or multiplayer. That'll help me decide what to cover next. If this was helpful, make sure you subscribe because I'll be covering more Stacklebot systems soon, like the interaction component in the control rig setup. Until then, happy tickering. And now, if you want to go pro and start learning C++, I made a video for Unreal Engine, which you could click on to the left. Thanks for watching.